so now let us discuss something about the power apps licensing now understand the licensing is not very simple uh, in terms of uh, the documentation as well as um, uh, according to requirement there are a lot of things depends on this so i'm just trying to uh, uh, let you understand that how the power apps licensing works so according to the microsoft document if you'll uh, just search for power apps licensing then you'll uh, you will uh, see a document, a PDF file which Microsoft released uh, for licensing about Power Platform basically. So if you are uh, trying to use anything, Power Apps, Power Automate or Power Virtual Agent, uh, Power BI, so you require licensing for that. So um, let's say you want to input data, you want to query, you want to view data, so you require a valid license for that. Even if you are trying to uh, use the API, you require a license for that. If you have shared Power Apps Canvas app to an external user, then the external user or the guest users, they require a Power Apps license, a valid license so that they can use it. Uh, so you have three options how, where you can uh, get the license. So uh, Microsoft provides the standalone plans. So uh, you can see here Power Apps Power App plan and power apps for user plan so two things are there these are standalone plans and then if you have dynamics 365 license you can access power apps if you have an office 365 license then you can access power apps now understand in a broad sense there are two things are there one is a license to access power apps and then you require uh, the connectors the premium connectors to use it so whatever the licensing when I am saying that oh, if you have a license you, you can get power ups that doesn't mean you can get the premium connectors as well so uh, that we need to just uh, keep in mind no? now uh, let us try to understand uh, the standalone plans so as I said there are two plans are there I have taken these things from Microsoft this image so per app plan so which is $10 per user per app per month so understand this very much so if you have an uh, you know a app then it will be the plan is per user per app and then per month and uh, if you want to go for per user plan so in this case you can run unlimited apps so obviously if you require more apps then better is go for this per user per month plan because in this case it will be based on the per user not based on app so how many app you develop that is up to you now let us understand little bit more about what are the things basically you can get it so if you'll see here uh, the first one is per app plan per app per user and the second one is per user plan so in this case you can run two apps and one portal so we'll discuss more in the portal uh, basically that is a site that you can create for your external users so you have two apps and one portal in this case it is unlimited if you have a power user plan and in this case in both the cases you will be able to access the pre-built and custom connectors and also on-premise connectors and gateway so you will be able to uh, have that you can access the uh, you know built-in connectors whatever you have and then store and manage data create and access custom entities you can do for the dataverse dataverse is um, even in the first video i have explained that so common data service little bit uh, we will discuss more on the dataverse as well but understand for now there will be 50 mb capacity in the first plan which is power app plan and uh, there will be 400 mb file capacity and in this case 250 uh, mb uh, database capacity and 2 GB file capacity now understand this so when you are saying unlimited you have to keep in mind the uh, data space as well so it should not increase that and then execute execute workflows so power automate uh, you have the rights that you can use including your premium connectors you can use it and asynchronous and custom real-time workflows you can use it um, there is a little bit more on these things this these things I got it from the PDF document uh, that uh, Microsoft shared with this so if you can if you'll see in details you can run custom apps and both canvas and model driven apps two apps you can do one custom portal you can do standard connectors premium connectors you can use on these things now because these are uh, the um, standalone plans the same thing will not be available on office 365 plans we'll discuss that 
and then on-premise data gateway uh, you can see this and you can utilize the uh, data bars com, uh, your uh, uh, CDS common data service and also you can create and access custom tables within the dataverse so you can have that then dynamics 365 table access you have only read only access you can get it automated instant and schedule flows both uh, all these th all three you can do within your app context the capacity you can see 50 mb 400 mb the file capacity and daily power platform request that you can do is thousand only so make sure uh, you have only this much per day and then AI builder capacity add-on, uh, so it will be with additional charges. The second one is the power apps per user license. So this is the per user, not per app, per user. So unlimited apps, both canvas and model driven. You can access custom portals as you can see here. Premium connectors, gateway, all these things are same. Uh, in this case, you can get Dataverse file capacity is 2 GB. The daily power platform request it is 5000. So that you understand it is from 1000 to 5000 you will get it. So obviously in this case probably uh, if you have more apps that you want to um, uh, develop or something then uh, the best is uh, uh, you can uh, go for this per user uh, license plan. Now the second way you can access is Dynamics 365. So if you have a Dynamics 365 license then you can see here. Uh, um, your, you will be able to, there are two plans so it seems in Dynamics 365 app, application one is uh, the other one is Enterprise one I am not uh, sure about all these things but whatever from the documentation you can have your standard connectors, premium connectors you can use it, uh, Dataverse you can use it for both the things but uh, um, then you can have your custom table uh, it is 50 power application cre uh, create, um, a read, update, delete everything you can do on this so uh, in this enterprise level you have unlimited you can see here uh, for uh, this one dynamics 365 application it is 15 the next uh, you can see here uh, within the app context you can do that AI builder capacity with additional charges you can get it so these are the things uh, that you can uh, have office 365 dynamics sorry dynamics 365 license then you can access it so make sure that uh, if you have a Dynamics 365 license, you can do a lot of things. You don't need to go for any additional Power Apps license. This then this one, if you'll see here, here you need to understand because most of uh, the things, if you have a, if you are a, uh, you know, a uh, SharePoint developer or you have access to your SharePoint, you got uh, the Office 365 license. Then in the, in that case, you can run Canvas app, model driven apps. So unlimited, you can uh, run it. Uh, access custom portal you have it standard connectors you can use it but the premium connectors uh, you can see here uh, the uh, sorry in you cannot access the this one uh, your uh, uh, model driven apps custom portals you cannot do that uh, you can access standard connectors and then on premises uh, data gateway you cannot do it dataverse for teams uh, that you can use it for uh, office 365 license so power automate uh, user rights you can uh, do it so you will be able to use it uh, so make sure that now you understand that as long as you are using the standard connectors in office 365 then you don't need to do anything unless and until you want to run the power uh, sorry you want to run the uh, or use the premium or the custom connectors that you can you if you want to use so this is about uh, the licensing uh, that you can see here uh, in the next video i'll explain you how we can access it free so basically there are two plans that we'll discuss about uh, uh, as a developer if you want to learn power apps then you, you don't need to go for this licensing and all these things there are two plans that we will discuss how we can access power apps for free but definitely if you have an office 365 license as a you know developer um, even if you don't have a license you can sign up for an office 365 trial and then you can uh, create unlimited canvas app by using the standard connectors and you can you will be able to use it for your development purpose.